this great journey into beauty and spirit into the heartland of St. Patrick. To Slemish Mountain, the sleeping giant that skirts the soft gray heavens, the same clean air where Patrick once stood, looking down on walls and wells and out to the beckoning coast. Onward past shining seas to the welcome of Bangor, its ancient abbey like a beacon throwing light and shadow on secrets in walled gardens and the meaning of manuscripts. Then the soothing rocky shore of Grey Abbey and the curving coast of Strangford. The ferry boat lands ashore where ancient ships once docked. Friendly firesides, a warm welcome and good food, just like it ever was. And the light of a billion northern stars shine out as weary heads find rest. St. Patrick waits at the top of his mountain, land and legend sending travelers on to the heart of his homeland. His burial site in the shadow of the cathedral with its ancient cross looking out over the town and beyond to the majestic moors. The wells where he healed and the site of his first church tucked away in peaceful drumlins of doubt. Time to stop into a 300-year-old coaching inn. Oldest in Ireland, they say, those old friends. And you. Stone circles sit as they always have, telling of times past and times to come. And on and on through lands which speak of poets and writers, songs and singers, saints and scholars, until Patrick's capital looms, with its two towers of tradition at its beating heart. Filled with culture and history, music and spirit, the heartland of St. Patrick, its lives, legends and landscape. A place to walk, find peace and breathe again. 